Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for our daily reflection. Well, last weekend, as we were starting our series on relationships, what we were saying is that there are four elements to really healthy relationships. And the first one is to abide in Christ. And we were reading from John chapter 15. Yesterday, when Levi was sharing in this uh, daily reflection, he talked about an illustration of cows and how cows go to the same field every day and eat the same grass and never seem to be upset with the lack of variety. Um, and that's a good picture of abiding. We come to the same field, the same Savior every day and know that He is going to feed us, He is going to take care of us. And so um, it's a good illustration. I want to give you yet another one today. But let me first read just a few of those verses from chapter 15 of John's Gospel. It says, Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. Um, verse 8, By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. So you heard the word over and over again, um, eight times in just the, the short passage at the beginning of chapter 15, that word appears, abide. And in the Greek, the word for abide means to stay or to remain or to continue. Um, in the book, Practicing the Way, a great book, which I highly recommend by John Mark Comer, he uh, shares an illustration and it goes this way. Um, in, back in the 18th century, so the 1700s, there was a Catholic priest in a very small village, and he was a priest of a very small Catholic church. Well, there was an elderly peasant in the town who would come into the church every day and would sit for hours. And finally, the priest wanted to ask him. And so he said, it, he said uh, what do you do in there? Why do you spend so much time in there? And the priest said this, he said, I look at him, he looks at me, and we are happy. I think it's a great illustration of what it means to abide in Christ. I look at him, he looks at me, and we are happy. It's a super simple way of seeing what this is all about. Staying with Jesus, remaining with Jesus, continuing with Jesus. In Isaiah chapter 32, verse 18, it says, My people will abide in a peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings, and in quiet resting places. It's a beautiful verse. It describes that peasant in the village, and I hope it describes you and I as we abide in Jesus. All of our relationships are better when we abide in Jesus. And so I'll leave you with this question, how will you abide in Jesus today? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the day and the opportunity to live our lives with you. Thank you for the blessing, the gift of abiding, that our lives are hidden in you. Thank you for that. As we go through the day, Lord, help us not to stray or to wander away. Um, Lord, help us to, to return to you moment by moment, hour by hour, to stay with you, to remain with you, and to continue with you. Now, we believe that you'll bless the day as we do that. We give it to you joyfully. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Guys, have a great day, and I hope to see you Sunday in worship.